This week, we would like to introduce you to the city of Bojnud in northwestern Iran. Join us on this journey. Bojnud is the capital of North Khorasan province. In the distant past, there was a prosperous city called Jarmagan in the same location, but it was completely destroyed during the Mongol invasion. However, Vali Khan II, one of the Shadu tribal chiefs, founded Bojnud near the ruins of Jarmagan in 1100 AH. Bojnud has a moderate mountainous climate with cool summers and cold winters. The majority of Bojnud's population are Khorasani Turks and Kurds, with smaller communities of Turkmens, Persian speakers and Tats as well. In addition to its natural attractions, Bojnud boasts a rich history and many historical sites. This region has been inhabited since ancient times and was part of the Parthian domain during the Median and Achaemenid periods. This city has important historical remains from the Middle Stone Age to the Mongol, Achaemenid, Parthian and Sasanian eras which indicate its antiquity. In this clip we will explore some of the historical sites of this city. Espako Fire Temple or Espako Temple. The local people know the Espako Fire Temple by the name of Church. However, no evidence has been found so far of the presence of Christians in this area. On the other hand, the circular shape of the altar, the fire altar, and the holes in the dome ceiling that appear to be vents for smoke to escape indicate that this structure was one of the fire temples built by the ancient Zoroastrians. Furthermore, considering the architecture and materials used in the building, the antiquity of the fire temple is attributed to the Sassanid era. The term espako is derived from the word hasp or asp, which is an ancient name from the Pallavi era, and the word ako meaning horse breeding and the reason for this naming was that this area was previously a horse breeding ground. The entrance of this temple consists of two parts, an arch and a base, where the arch is semicircular and rests on the base, a combination referred to as keystone arches. The interior space of the fire temple is also square shaped and has three entrances from the northern, southern and eastern sides. One of the most important architectural features of the Espako Fire Temple is the presence of two blind windows on the northern and southern facades of the Iwan. Besh Gardash before Islam, during the Parthian and Sassanid eras, a place of worship for Zoroastrian religious leaders existed at this location. Due to the permanent residence of the Magi, Zoroastrian religious leaders, it became known as the Chahamakan, for Magi. According to the available documents, the spring water was called Chahamakan or Chamakan, which is still known by this name. The name Besh Kardash is based on a historical story that is prevalent among the people of the city. According to this legend, in ancient times, five brothers lived in the city of Bojnud who were being pursued by the authorities due to their opposition to the oppression and tyranny of the ruler. They fled and the authorities chased them to this place. The five brothers asked God for help and at that moment Five holes were created in the mountain, into which the brothers took refuge, and from these holes flowed delicious water that until years ago and before severe droughts, all five springs had water. 
The water of the Beshgardash spring flows out of a rocky mountain and from five large and small cracks at the bottom of the mountain. In ancient times, the spring water used to flow out from the upper and middle parts of the mountain, and the cracks and water channels on the mountain have remained to this day. At the foot of the mountain, there is a carved stone inscription, with the Zoroastrian motto of good thoughts, good words, good deeds, engraved on the mountain. On the left side of the Beshgardash mountain and spring, a historical building built on the orders of Nazar al-Din Shah Qajar still stands. And in the past, several members of the Shadlu family of Bojnur were buried there. Facing the main pool of Beshgardash, there is a gate that has stood for about 200 years. <laughs> Jajaromi House. The Jajaromi House is a valuable example of the traditional central courtyard architecture from the late Qajar period, located in the heart of the city of Bojnur. It is currently used as a handicraft house, serving as a refuge for many artists in this city. The Jajaromi Hosseiniye is considered one of the remnants from the last years of the Qajar period. Haj Ali Akbar Jajaromi, the owner of this house, lived there for many years before eventually endowing it as a Hosseiniye, a place for Shia Muslim mourning ceremonies. This 600 square meter building has a square plan. The structure is built in two stories on the east and west sides. The arches used in the building are generally of three types simple crescent, ogival, and pointed arch. The ground floor is older than the upper floor. The upper floor, which is not structurally aligned with the ground floor, was used for religious ceremonies. This building is an example of traditional central courtyard architecture, which is considered an introspective style of architecture. All doors, windows, and skylights in this type of architecture open towards the courtyard. This architectural style is not very common in Bonjnord and is more significant in dry and desert regions. On the first floor there are three rooms, all of which use arched ceilings. These rooms are connected by doors. The remaining doors and windows in the building are as old as the building itself and are made of wood. The Salah Mofakham Palace. The Mofakham Palace is one of the historical buildings from the Qajar area in Bojnur, built in the early 1300s AH, which is the early 20th century, on the orders of Yar Muhammad Khan Shadlu, as a residence for him and his family. This palace has 34 rooms and two large halls. The main facade is on the southern side, which is entirely decorated with inlaid Mughal and seven colored tiles, featuring designs and motifs of humans, animals, arabesque, and geometric patterns. The building materials used are brick and gypsum mortar. Each floor of the building has two northern and southern iwans, porches. The entire building is beautifully tiled with brick and seven colored tiles in various sizes and shapes in turquoise, yellow, pink, purple, white, green, red and black colors and each column is adorned with a unique pattern and design. The exterior of the building displays images of two winged angels, human faces, paintings of flowers, plants and birds, nature, and 13th century geometric patterns. The Mafakam Palace has been restored and converted into a large archaeological and ethnographic museum for the province.
the Sala Mafakam Mirror House. The Mirror House of the illustrious commander is the most magnificent remaining work from the Qajar era in Bojnord, which is currently used as a museum of documents and manuscripts. In the 1300s AH, this building was used as an administrative and bureaucratic space for the illustrious commander's formal meetings with Qajar era political figures, as well as for conducting military ceremonies and consultations on political and social issues with the Shadlu tribal leaders and other Qajar era political figures. The Baba Aman Recreation Area the presence of 400,000 trees, including acacia, plain, hawthorn, apricot, sparrow tongue and wild blackberry bushes, gives this place a beautiful appearance that captivates the eyes of every viewer. This park also has a lush vegetation and dense 400-year-old plane trees, as well as springs that have gushed forth in the centre and around Baba Aman adding to the natural beauty of this park. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your weekend.